There are a billion hungry people in the world. Geospatial technology plays a crucial role in helping us make good decisions about where food aid goes, to whom it goes, and how much is sent. When there's a food shortage, citizens become desperate to feed their families. When that sustenance is not provided, there's the potential of conflict that can elevate to a military conflict, as well as increase potential terrorism. The Foreign Agricultural Service works hand in hand with our sister agencies, the State Department, USAID, FuseNet, NASA, to monitor crop production worldwide. We link satellite imagery with ground observations and rainfall data to determine the impact of drought on plant productivity. And what we're talking about is photosynthesis. Green leaves absorb in the red and blue region of the spectrum very strongly, and more is reflected in the green. Satellite data shows quantitatively how much energy from the sun is being absorbed by green leaves. We can then determine risk for food insecurity. We can watch the plants from space using the daily imagery as the growing season progresses. That's really important in places that we can't go to. In 2005, Zimbabwe, which had a lot of political issues, produced far less food than it usually did. On top of that came a drought. Something really needed to be done, but we didn't have any good ground information to know exactly how much assistance should be offered. Using the vegetation index and productivity in previous years, we were able to determine that food aid was really going to be needed for about six or eight million people. So we gave them enough advance notice to get foodstuffs imported and disseminated amongst the populace. In the end, it's about people and the hunger of people on the ground, and what can we do to respond to that?